All right, here is uh, my short tutorial on how to use Mod Organizer 2 for Borderlands 1. As of right now, the Mod Organizer 2 does not uh, directly support um, Borderlands 1, but uh, Mr. Mopioid has made a plugin for us. Thank you, Mopi. And you should start off by uh, downloading and installing Modern Organizer 2.5.2. If there's a later version, then grab that one. It might even have Borderlands 1 uh, content uh, or the plugin already integrated. Um, otherwise, you'll download the, uh, the plugin off either GitHub or Nexus. And you uh, take this .py, you can right click this page and file save as, or if it's on Nexus, just grab it there. And you can put it in, find your Mod Organizer 2 install. You go to plugins, basic games, games, and then just paste it here. I already have it in there, but I'll hit replace anyway. And Borderlands 1 right there in the plugins. All right, so next you can start up Mod Organizer. And uh, you'll want to create a new instance. Now it might pop up uh, a thing like this the first time you run it and you'll create a global instance and you'll see Borderlands here. Uh, this doesn't matter. Um, so on this page, uh, if you don't have a lot of space on your C drive or you don't want to install a bunch of mods to your C drive, this is... Uh, that you should change this because this is where you're going to actually be installing the mods. So I'm going to uh, pick a folder right now. All right, and as you can see, I made a new folder on my G drive just called BL1 mods. And then you can hit uh, finish. And on this, I usually just, just click uh, do nothing. It's fine. Um, so here we are. This is what you'll be greeted with and, and uh, to install mods, it's just as easy as clicking this and hitting install mod. And I've got my mods here. And we'll just start with the editable base maps. And you'll see quick install and you hit OK. And just that easy, you're installing the mod. So the best part about Mod Organizer 2 is that you uh, aren't actually installing the mods directly to your directory. You're installing them in a separate location and then Mod Organizer will take care of uh, loading the mods uh, on top of the game. So right now I have a completely clean uh, install of Borderlands and if I just click this box, there you go. Now I've got editable base maps installed. Uh, and if I untick it, there you go. Perfect. Now, uh, you can even have a uh, new profile here. Let me install another mod. Let's grab uh, Oasis. Install Oasis. There we go. We got an Oasis ready to go. And let's grab uh, Doom Docks, one of the Oasis maps. Install a map slot 26. And hit OK. All right, so you see these uh, lightning bolts? These are conflicts. Um, so for this, obviously, um, they're going to conflict on the map slot that, uh, Doomdocs uses, which is map slot 26. So you want to make sure that, uh, Doomdocs has a higher priority because then it will load the map slot 26 from Doomdocs over this one. All right, let's make a new profile just so you can see how the profiles work. I'm going to call this one dedicated drops. And we'll go to that and you'll see that these are unticked. And we can uh, go and install dedicated drops all in one. And of course, it'll take a couple of minutes, a couple seconds to load up. Quite a mod. You take that, and you can tick editable base maps, and you'll see this uh, gray 
That means that everything in a lower folder has already conflicted, meaning that editable base maps, uh, is, it's not using any files. So we can just untick that because dedicated drops all in one already has all of that. Um, it has all newer files. So if the thing is completely gray, there's it's just completely conflicted. All right, let's continue forward with, um, let's go with the startup file for mods. Remember, we want um, this startup file lower because uh, we want this priority higher because this this is the last mod you basically want forever. Like the startup file should always be the last mod that is loaded. Let's grab um, a confirmation remover. That's a pretty good one. All of these mods are, of course, are on Nexus. Make sure that a startup files last, and let's install the permanent FOV um, mod. All right, so the permanent FOV mod will bring up this uh, manual thing. And usually for mods like this, you might have to read the instructions. And um, the instructions for the permanent FOV fix tell you to install the base mod and then install your FOV that you want on top of it. So what I'm gonna do instead um, is um, extract the files for the FOV fix, grab the FOV that I want, which is 100, and then paste it on top of the base mod, and then I'm going to zip this up and call it FOV mod, and then I'll go and install the mod, and I put that here. Open, OV mod. Make sure it's above the startup file for mods. And we'll go in game and we'll test out our mods. All right, now that we're in game, you can see that the FOV is nice and 110. I can sprint in circles all I want. The uh, FOV fix. Oh, here we go. We'll uh, buy some ammo, and we won't uh, have to confirm if we're sure or not. Yes, see, uh, some SMG ammo. Oh, there you go, some grenades. Oh, right, I'm using a saber. That's why I can't. I actually can't out shoot the saber. But yeah, you can see the. I'd have to say, are you sure for the grenades? Yeah, just buy it. And we can go kill Scar. Maybe we'll get a, uh, we'll get a bulldog maybe, or we'll definitely get TK's wave. So we'll show off that dedicated drops is indeed, of, is indeed working. Well, this, uh, savior isn't very good, is it? That's okay. Lilith is nice and balanced. And there you go, a TK's wave from Dedicated Drops. No bulldog though. And that's about it. So yeah, that's a, a tutorial for Mod Organizer 2. Um, and I guess I should show off uh, Borderlands. Nice clean, no uh, no extra files, no even in the map slots. The map slots aren't there, but you can still play with uh, Oasis because this all these mods are they're all installed in uh, BO1 mods where I saved them. Yeah. Um, thanks again, Mopey.